Good morning all. Welcome you all to the fourth part of the chapter sets. Today we are going to learn types of sets. See the first example. Let A equal set of all x such that x is a natural number and 1 less than x less than 2. How many elements are there in this set? The set of all natural numbers in between 1 and 2. We know that the natural number when next to 1 is 2 and there is no natural number in between 1 and 2. It means that the set A contains no element at all. The set A contains no element at all or the set A contains zero elements. There is no element in the set A. Such sets are called empty sets. Another name, null set. Another name, void set. Okay? The set which does not contain any element is called empty set or null set or void set. The symbol to represent empty set is phi or simply a set notation. Okay, write this into your notebook. Remember, it is required to write what is in the white background into your notebook. Okay, type of set, that is a heading. First type, empty set or null set or void set. A set which does not contain any element is called empty set. And it's denoted by phi or a simply a set notation. Example, first one, a sickle set of all x such that x is a natural number and 1 less than x less than 2. Another example, b sickle set of all x such that x is a composite number less than 4. Which are the numbers less than 4, natural numbers less than 4? 1, 2 and 3. Neither of them is composite. Okay, one is neither composite nor prime. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. It means that there is no composite number less than 4. And the third example is C equals set of all x such that x square equal for x is odd. Which are the numbers satisfying x square equal for 2 and minus 2. Both of them are even. There is no uh, number x which is odd satisfying x square equal to 4. Okay. Now, second time, see the example. Yes, equal set of all x such that x is a natural number and 1 less than x less than 3. How many elements are there in set A? Let us write set A. How many elements are there? There is only one natural number in between 1 and 3. That is 2. Okay. It means that the set A contains only one element. The set A contains only one element. Okay. It means that the set A contains a single element. Such sets are called singleton set. Such sets are called singleton set. Then what is a singleton set? A set which contains only one element is called simpleton set. Singleton set. Okay. Write this into your notebook. Second type of set. Singleton set. A set having only one element is called singleton set. Example. First one. Yes, equal set of all x such that x is a natural number and 1 less than x less than 3. Second example, b is equal to set of all x such that x is an even prime number. Which is the only one even prime number? That is 2. That is, b contains only one element. That is 2. Clear? Now, another example is c equal set 0. That set contains only one element? 0. Another example is d equal set to 5. D contains one element. Which is that element? D set to 5. 5 is the element contained in D. Only one element is there. Therefore, it is again an example for a singleton set. Okay? Write in your notebook. After that, let us go to type 3. See the example. Yes, sequel set of all x such that x is a natural number and x less than 1000. How can we write this set in raster form? Let's, let us try yes equal to natural number less than 1000 which is the smallest natural number yes that is 1 next 2 next 3 
etc. What is the last natural number satisfying this condition? 999. It means that this set contains 999 elements. We can count the number of elements in set A. Okay. The set A contains a definite number of elements. The set A contains a definite number of elements. Such sets are called finite sets. What we call them? Finite set. Then what is a finite set? A set which contains a definite number of elements is called a finite num. Finite set. Clear? Okay. Write neatly into your notebook. Type 3. Finite set. A set having a definite number of elements is called finite set. Example 1. S equals set of all x such that x is a natural number and s less than 10,000. Okay. We can replace 10,000 by 1 lakh, 1 crore, 10 crore, 100 crore, etc. Only one condition is that we, we can count the number of elements in the set. Another example, B is equal to set of all x such that x is a prime factor of 100. Which are the prime factors of 100? Yes, 100 can be written as 4 into 25. It means that 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Therefore, the only two prime factors of 100, 100 are 2 and 5. It means that we can count the number of elements in B. Therefore, B is a finite set. Clear? Some notes are there. First one, the empty set contains zero elements. So we consider empty set as finite set. That is the first note. The empty set phi is finite. Second note, we can count the number of elements in a finite set. The number of elements of a set capital A has a special name in set theory. That is cardinality of the set. Cardinality of A. The number of elements in the set A is called the cardinality of A and we denote it as N of A, number of A. Number of A means number of elements in the set. Then my question is, what is the cardinality of phi? What is the cardinal, cardinality of the empty set? Yes, cardinality of empty set phi is 0 because it contains no element. Clear? Write into your notebook these facts. Then, let us see what is fourth type. See the example. Yes, equal equals set of all x such that x is a natural number and x greater than 1. How many elements are there in that set? Let us try to write this set in a raster form. Yes, equal to. What is the smallest natural number satisfying this condition? Yes, 2. Next, 3, 4, 5, etc. Which is the largest number? We cannot say. Okay, satisfying this condition. It means that we cannot count the number of elements in this set or we cannot say what is number of A of the set A. It means that the set A contains infinitely many elements. The set A contains infinite number of elements. Okay, such type of sets are called infinite sets. Infinite sets. The set which is not finite is called infinite. The set which contains infinitely many elements is called the infinite set. Clear? Write into your notebook. Type 4, infinite set. A set which is not finite is called infinite set. Example 1, a sequel set of all x such that x is a natural number and x greater than 1. Another example, B sequel set of all x such that x is a real number and 1 less than x less than 2. The number of real numbers between 1 and 2, we cannot count it. It is infinite. Okay. And another example, set of all points in a plane. Another example, set of all points in a line. Another example, set of points in a line segment. All are infinite set. We cannot count the number of points uh, in a plane or a line or a line segment. Okay. And uh, some notes are there. First note, the standard sets N, Z, W, Q, R, C, Z plus etc. All standard number sets are infinite sets. Okay. The standard sets N, Z, Q, R, etc. are infinite sets. That is the first note. Then what is the cardinality of an infinite set? What is the cardinality of an infinite set? We cannot find. We cannot say what is the cardinality. What is the number of elements? So we write 
the cardinality of infinite set is not defined okay and the third note is can we write q in Russell form it is an infinite set can we write it in Russell form no can we write r in Russell form no can we write n in Russell form yes can we write z in Russell form yes it means that some infinite set cannot be written in Russell form or we can say all infinite sets cannot be expressed in Russell form all infinite sets cannot be represented in Russell form it means that some can be expressed and some cannot be expressed in Russell form clear now we are going to discuss the fifth type okay see the examples yes single set of fully accepted x is a natural number and x less than 4 which are the elements or which is the form of the set symbol equal to 1 2 3 another example b single set of fully accepted x is a factor of 6 and the x not equal 6 which are the factors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 here one condition is there x not equal 6 then uh, what is the remaining uh, elements 1 2 and 3 same as that of a okay a and b contain exactly the same elements a and b contain exactly the same elements okay a and b contains exactly the same elements then what we call these two sets a and b both same both the sets are equal both sets contain exactly the same elements therefore we call them as equal sets okay equal sets remember ah, when two sets are equal a and b are equal here we represent it as a equal to b just like as 2 equal to 2 okay see set 1 2 3 that set is equal to what set 1 3 2 1 2 3 both set are equal here the this set contains six elements but some elements are repeated so we count it as only one in short this set is equal to set 1 2 3 itself Therefore, these, these two sets are equal. Okay? Write this fact into your notebook. Type 5 equal set. Two sets A and B are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements. And we write A equal to B. Clear? Example. First one. Yes, equal set of x such as x is a prime number less than 6. Which are the prime numbers less than 6? 2, 3 and 5. B equal set of x such as x is a prime factor of 30. Which are the prime factors of 30? 2, 3 and 5. 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. Okay. Both are equal to set to 2, 3, 5. Hence, they are equal. Then, another example. X is a letter in the word follow. And B is equal set of X, X, X such, such that. X is a letter in the word wall. Which are the letters in the word follow? F, O, L, W. Which are the letters in the word wall? F, O, L, F. Both are same. Okay. Therefore, A equal to B. Clear? Then, another example. 3 a b c d equal set c a d b in the last class we we mentioned that in roster form elements can be listed in any order order has no relevance no significance at all therefore these two sets are equal another example set 1 2 equal set 1 1 1 2 2 1 both are same because some elements are repeated in this in the rhs clear now we are going to discuss the last type of set. See the example. Yes, equal set of x such as x is a natural number and x less than 4. Which are the numbers? 1, 2, 3. And b equal set of x such as x is a factor of 25. Which are the factors of 25? Yes. 1, 5 and 25. Are the sets equal? No. Why? The set elements are not exactly the same. But one, uh, one uh, peculiarity is there. What is that? Number of elements in A is 3. Number of elements in B is again 3. Cardinality of the two sets are equal. Number of elements are equal. Okay? The sets A and B have the same number of elements. Such types of sets are called equivalent sets. Equivalent sets. Then what is the meaning of equivalent sets? Two sets A and B are said to be equivalent if their cardinality is same. If their number of elements are same. Clear? One example is here. Set 1, 2, 3 and set A, B, C. They are distinct set but they are equivalent because their cardinality is same that is equal to 3. Clear? Write in your notebook. Equivalent, equivalent sets that is sixth type of set. Two sets A and B are said to be equivalent if number of A equal to number of B. Example 1. 
So the A, B, C, D and so the 1, 2, 3, 4 are equal sets because their number of elements is same. Another example, yes, you can set a for x such that x is a day, day in a week, which are the days in a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, there are seven days. And uh, B is equal set of x such that x is a prime number less than 18. Which are the prime numbers less than 18? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17. Okay, 7. 7 prime numbers less than 18. It means that A and B contain same number of elements. Therefore, they are equivalent sets. Clear? Okay, now let us do a simple example concerning this. Are the following pairs of sets equal? Give reason. There are five questions A, B, C, D and E. I am going to work out question A and question B here. Question C, question D, question E are assignment for you. Clear? Now, write the question, these questions in your notebook. And after that, go to next screen. Answer question number A. What is question number A? Yes, equal set of x such that x minus 5 equals 0 and b is equal set of x such that x square equal to 25. Then, what is actually a? x minus 5 equals 0 means x equal to 5. Then, a contains only one element that is 5. And x square equal to 25. It means that x equal to minus 5 or 5. That set b contains two elements, minus 5 and 5. Are the set equal? No, A not equal to B. A contain only one element, B contain two elements. Okay, not equal to B, A not equal to B. Clearly, A not equal to B. Are these sets equivalent? No, these sets are not equal to two because number of elements are also not equal. Then, answer question number B. A is equal to set 2, 3 and B is equal to set of x such that x is a solution of the equation square plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Answer to that question. Here, A is equal to set 2, 3, that is very simple. And how can we find B? We want to factorize S square plus 5X plus 6 equals 0 and find the solution. S square plus 5X plus 6 equals 0. How can we find the solution of this quadratic equation? Find the two numbers such that sum is 5 and the product is 6. Since the product is positive, both numbers have same sign. Since sum is positive, both numbers have positive sign. Then which are the numbers? Very simple. 2 and 3. We, we know that s square plus 5s plus 6 equals 0 can be written as s plus 2 into s plus 3 equals 0. It means that either s plus 2 equals 0 or s plus 3 equals 0. That is, x has two values, minus 2 or minus 3. Okay? Then, what is b? We want to list all the elements of this uh, the, of the values of x and separate the elements by commas and the enclosure within brackets. Then, b equals set to minus 2, minus 3. Are these equal? No, entirely different. 2 is not equal to minus 2. These sets are not equal. A not equal to B. Okay. But the sets are equivalent. It means that all equal sets are equivalent. All equal sets are equivalent. But all equal sets are not equal. All equal sets are not equal. Okay. Now, there is a question C, B, D and E. That is for you uh, as assignment. Do it from your home after uh, writing this into your notebook. Now, today we have discussed types of set. First type is empty set or null set, void set. It means that the set which does not contain any element. Second is set is singleton set. This set contain only one element. The set the third type of set is finite set. The set having finite number of elements and definite number of elements. A set which is not finite is called infinite set. That is the fourth type. Equal sets, two sets are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements and uh, equal sets, two sets are said to be equivalent if their cardinality are same. Clear? Today's class is over. You please learn this fact very clearly and thoroughly. See you on next class. Have a nice day. Goodbye.